My name is Aidan Kelly and I am co-chair of Bolivira Daycare Centre Limited uh, here in Bolognac and Tralee. Uh, Bolivira has been up and running for over 23 years, uh, originally as a respite home and earlier this year, April 2011, we opened up as a daycare centre operating from our existing premises for two days a week. Um, we cater for approximately 16 elderly adults each day and we offer them a lunch and we offer them uh, nursing uh, facilities and more importantly the community aspect of them meeting with uh, other elderly people for a few hours uh, to socialize and to catch up on the events that are happening within the town. Our plan is to uh, move across the way into the old laundry building which the Mercy Orders would have donated to us last year and we are in the midst of uh, planning uh, for that building. It's going to be a building of approximately 6,000 square foot. It will be open five days a week and we'll be able to cater for up to 40 adults each day uh, when we're up and running, hopefully by 2013, early 2013. Our biggest issue, uh, as with any voluntary group, is funding, uh, trying to get the necessary resources to facilitate the expansion of the building and also once we're up and running the actual continuation and running of the building. Um, currently we have four staff employed here to work two days a week and once we move into a five day a week scenario we will obviously need further staff to cater for the numbers that we have. There are quite a number of elderly people within the Tralee environs within a four to six mile radius you would have approximately four to 5,000 elderly people over the age of 65. Whilst all of those would not necessarily need daycare centre uh, facilities, there are a lot of people out there who would not meet people on a day-to-day -day basis, and the need for a daycare centre is absolutely huge. And it's just that's why we as volunteer group are very keen that we would set up the day centre and keep it running for the benefit of the elderly people here in Tralee. and today we're serving boiled bacon and cabbage. They come in in the morning, they're collected in their homes, brought into the, here to Balavara, and they have a cup of tea, a scone, and then at lunchtime they have a lunch, a three-course lunch, in the afternoon, before
before they go home, they have tea and there's um, cake or sweet or scone again, and then they're taken home and it's repeated uh, each day. In the morning, uh, after they have their tea, we usually read the papers for them, uh, any of the stories that are in it. Uh, then we have some exercises. Uh, we have a treatment room, which Eileen uses for taking their blood pressure. Anybody needs their feet done. And we have a, a, a wet room, uh, which is a shower room, totally tiled. Uh, and the, Eileen, uh, if they want showers, Eileen showers them, or nurse manager. In the afternoon, um, after their lunch, we may have a sing song. Myself a wife in the town that I love so well. Now the music's gone, but we'll carry on for our spirits of blues never broken. They will not forget, for their hearts are set. And tomorrow and peace once again. Also, we have a Sister Baptist. One of our board of management comes in and brings uh, communion after Mass if they wish. And also she says some prayers. Uh, there, this is Tommy O'Connor, our chair of Bolivar. Hi Tommy, pleasure to meet you. How are you keeping? That's Anne. Hi Anne, great to meet you. Hi Celia, wonderful to meet you. Hi Bonnie. Thank you very much. This is, this is Irene. Irene. Lovely to meet you. Hi, Irene. 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 Hi, Irene.